Apple's iPhone is the most popular smartphone in the world, and by extension, the most popular digital camera in the world, with Apple being the most used brand by photographers on Flickr. Today, you can take some impressive high-quality shots with the iPhone 12's multi-camera system, but all this incredible technology has a surprisingly modest history, with the original iPhone sporting a tiny 2-megapixel lens, and its photos left a lot to be desired. So how did the iPhone's camera system end up where it's at today? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to explain right now. Let's begin back in 2007 with the original iPhone. It featured a 2 megapixel camera lens that performed fairly well, although low light photos left a lot to be desired. There was no front camera for selfies, no video recording, and no software features like autofocus, although it did have geotagging so you could see where photos were taken. The iPhone 3G didn't add any new camera updates, but the following 3GS did, with an improved 3 megapixel lens, VGA quality video recording, and software features like autofocus, auto white balance, and auto macro. The 3GS was replaced by the iPhone 4, which featured an even bigger camera update, like a front-facing selfie camera for the first time, although it was only 0.3 megapixels, a 5 megapixel rear camera capable of recording 720p video in 30 frames per second, complete with LED flash. Both cameras featured tap to focus, while the rear lens allowed for 5 times digital zoom. The following 4S model had an 8 megapixel rear camera, which allowed for 1080p HD video recording. And thanks to an additional optic lens, a wider 2.4 aperture, and the A5's image signal processor, the rear camera had 30% better clarity, 26% better white balance, and 26% better color accuracy. The iPhone 5 marked the first upgrade to the device's front-facing camera. At 1.2 megapixels, it could record 720p HD video and take much higher quality photos. The rear camera featured improved low-light performance, 40% faster photo capture, and a sapphire glass lens cover that was harder and more scratch-resistant, although it did cause a purple hue when taking photos with a strong light source. The 5S brought a larger 2.2 aperture and larger image sensor to the rear camera, which improved low-light photos even further, and a dual true-tone flash that combined a white and amber LED to improve color balance in flash photographs. Burst mode at 10 frames per second and slow motion video at 120 frames per second were also added with the iPhone 5S. The iPhone 6 allowed users to shoot 1080p video at 60 frames per second, 720p slow motion video at 240 frames per second, while allowing still photos to be captured during a recording. The 6 Plus included all those features in addition to optical image stabilization for the first time, while its front camera received a larger sensor and a 2.2 aperture for better low light selfies. The 6S and 6 Plus brought a more significant update to the iPhone's camera system, and both models received the same features, like a 12 megapixel rear camera capable of recording 4K video or 1080p slow motion video at 120 frames per second, and a 5 megapixel front camera that took much higher resolution photos. The iPhone 7 and 7 Plus both had a brighter quad LED flash on the rear lens, a larger 1.8 aperture for even better low-light photos, and optical image stabilization, which was a first for a base model iPhone. While the pricier 7 Plus had exclusive features, like a 12 megapixel telephoto lens that provided 2 times optical zoom, 10 times digital zoom, and a feature called portrait mode, which allowed users to take photos of others with a bokeh effect normally only seen in high end DSLR cameras. The iPhone X featured a radical new design, but its cameras were largely the same, with the addition of 1080p slow motion video at 240 frames per second, and the front facing true depth camera system, which allowed for face ID and a new software feature called portrait lighting. The XS saw an even less impressive update, with a larger rear sensor, a new software feature called depth control, and support for stereo audio. 
But the 11 Pro was the huge camera upgrade that customers had been waiting for. It was the first model to feature three lenses on the back, the standard wide-angle and telephoto lenses, with the addition of an ultra-wide-angle lens with a 120-degree field of view. Night mode was added, which automatically applied a longer exposure to low-light photos to capture more detail. And Apple created a new software feature called Deep Fusion, which utilized machine learning to optimize every pixel in a photo. Multi-camera recording became possible thanks to the powerful A13 Bionic chip, although the native camera app didn't support the feature. Finally, 1080p slow motion was added to the front camera, which Apple marketed as Slowfies, a term that thankfully never caught on. The 12 Pro added a LiDAR scanner for improved augmented reality, support for night mode video on all four cameras, and the ability to record HDR Dolby Vision 4K footage up to 60 frames per second. The 12 Pro Max included all those features, plus a sensor shift image stabilization system. So compared to 2007, the iPhone's photo quality went from this to this with even more features on the way this fall when Apple introduces the next generation model. So that's the history of the iPhone's camera. This is Greg from Apple Explained, and I'll see you in the next video.